Hello out there. How are you, Janice Malaco? So, we've got about a minute before the class would start at noon today, everyone. Just about a minute or so, yeah. So, we'll just give ourselves a chance to get settled. So, I'll make it right on 12 now. So, hi everyone. Ken from Active Newcastle. Here we are with the Thursday noon class, a core based session. And uh, some of the other structures that support the course. So, we'll do glutes and this sort of thing. I've got some, as usual, some new stuff, a little bit of new stuff, a little bit of variation, and a couple of proper golden oldies that are very, very effective. So, suitable for most people. I'm just having a quick look. Oh, there's pictures coming up. I can't quite see them. Um, who it is, but I will answer everyone afterwards. So, suitable for most people, provided A, you work at your own pace, and B, stop if you need to stop. That will be your first consideration. I will give some adaptations, um, but you will need to be able to go to the floor, move around on the floor a little bit and get back up from the floor comfortably and make sure you've got the space. You want a comfortable place to be able to stretch out right. You'll need something for your knees. I've got a soft surface, so but you might want an extra towel for your knees as well as one you know, to, to wipe your forehead or whatever. Um, we do participate at our own discretion. Hello there, Steve. Hello there, Judith. It's all, all the regulars are coming through now. Good. Nice to see you all, so to speak. So, a couple of other considerations. It has got a bit warmer. It was a bit, bit um, fresh this morning, I think, but it's got nice now. But make sure you've got a fresh air supply, drink if you need it, and as I say, a towel. Other than that, we're going to start straight away. Um, the first one is a familiar one, just to get us all started. Nice one, John. And we're going to do the Russian twist. So, we'll take the W position. The regulars will know what that is. If you're new, a W position would be this as in a letter W, well, kind of like a letter W. So I may be doing them on a slight angle so you guys can see what's happening. Essentially, it's as if you have a kettlebell or a weight and we're moving to one side, center, then the other side. Have a little pause when you hit the center point. Here we go, 30 seconds work, transition straight into the next one. Three, two, one, time away team. So from the prayer palm position, in and back, in, and back. Doesn't have to be fast. Squeeze that core. Engage the core by lower abdominal breathing and an actual conscious effort to engage the core. 10 seconds. Squeeze center. Squeeze it and center. Squeeze it and center. And one more team to finish on this set. Squeeze and center and stop. Excellent. A familiar one. Now, we're going to need to turn around on this. So you don't need to change your body position. Just turn it to the other side. So I suggest the first one, you keep an eye, and then you can turn away for the second one because essentially we're, we're going to do the side plank. So full plank would be a straight line from the shoulder straight through the hip, and we would raise the hip up. So we're working. It's the oblique core. Now, modified could be come up on the knee, and then it's not so high. That's probably the best modification and drop down that little bit quicker or take an extra pause in between repetitions if you want it a little bit easier again. So ready everyone, we're going to remember we're going to change halfway through. So I'll just turn around and I will put my back to you. So excuse that and that's how you will do it. So three, two, one, time away. If you want to make it a bit more difficult, you can open up the hand or you can put the hand behind your back almost on the, the, you know, where your, your spine is really, right around it. Opens up the chest. Holding, we're almost gonna change. Three, two, one. Quick change, everyone. Just basically turn to the other side. Straight line, position of choice. Up with the hip, arm back or arm up or arm around. Holding and breathing. Don't hold the breath. Squeeze the core, squeeze your bum muscle on the side. Close the floor, squeeze it even harder. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent, everyone. Big breath. Drink, towel if you need it. The next one is the glute bridge. It's not the most extreme position, but I feel as if this one really, really does activate the glutes for just about 100% of anyone who, who does this. So, from the W, lie back. Chin up, abs are already engaged. Pelvis is tucked under, lower abdominal breathing. Ready, we're going to lift the hips up and make it a straight line. Three, two, one, time away. Squeeze at the top position. 
Slowly lower down. Squeeze and get the top position. Slowly lower down. So it's a straight line. The body is basically a straight line. Squeezing the glutes and the abs. And down. Halfway team. Squeezing. Keep that breathing lower. Abdominal and regular. Squeezing. Never get breathless. A little bit of heavier breathing. Fine. But not breathlessness. Up. Last one. Hold for three. One. And a squeeze. And three. And a relax. Excellent. The next one. It's the cross mountain climber. So basically we're in the high presser position, a high plank position. We'll bring left leg towards the right elbow and vice versa, right knee towards the left elbow. You can start whichever one you want. There's no special side to start on. So, oh, modified position would be here. It's difficult to twist it when you're modified. So possibly go to the outside if you're doing it in the box position. If you're 45, then it starts to become more feasible to bring it across. And if you're in the full position, it comes across and back. Try not to let the hips twist. Keep the core tight. Squeeze the glute muscles. Three, two, one. Time away. Position of choice. Squeeze and back and re-squeeze. Squeeze and back. Re-squeeze the core. One and back. Bum and abs. One and back. Squeeze bum and abs. And back and squeeze. And back and squeeze if you want more. As you squeeze the abs in, push the hands to walk downwards towards your feet. Squeeze, back, everything squeezes. Squeeze, back, everything squeezes. And hold, two, three, and relax. Big breath. Ready for the next one? It's the, uh, I'm going to have to turn my back to show you what will, you'll be face down. And what your arms will be doing, excuse me, everyone. Your arms will, as you raise the body, the arms will go to the letter Y, and then they'll pull to a W, and then you'll go down, face down. Then it'll be one, two, face down. It'll make more sense once we start doing it. So face down position, lying out, tuck the chin down, don't have the chin up, you know, upwards, if you like, toward, towards the front, have it down towards your feet. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one, here we go. Up to the Y, back to the W, and down. Up to the Y, back to the W, and down. Up to the Y, back to the W, and down. Those who want more would stay up, down, up. That's very heavy on the lower back, so be careful. One, and two, one, and two, all, touch down, come up, to the Y, to the W, and down, and relax everyone. So don't, if, that, if you feel that too much in the back, don't keep it held up permanently. It is feasible, if you're comfortable with that, that's great, but it is a, it is a step in, up in intensity. The next one is the plank row, a very solid exercise. Avoid the rotation, that's what you're struggling with. This position, this position or this position. So high plank position. Ready, everyone? And then we're going to row each arm in, in turn. Left arm, right arm. Ready? Up. So one, two. More stability, wider feet or a different position. Knees down or the box position. One, down. Two, down. Three, down. Head above the arms, in between the arms. And down. So the idea is when I do this, to not rotate, to hold that. And similarly on the other side, five seconds. It's a toughie, squeeze, squeeze and hold the position. One, tuck, tuck the pelvis, two, three, and down. Excellent. Believe it or not, that's one circuit through, six different movements. So we're gonna go through one more time. Pick the, the version of your choice. You should know now where the intensity level lies, remember. Good form over intensity. I can't see you, and I just want to make sure you're safe. It's about getting it right, not about doing the hardest one, if I can put it in simple terms. So, begin with the Russian twist. W position. I'll face the camera this time. Three, two, one. Prayer palm. Lay back. Squeeze and center. You can make it harder by lying back further. Lifting the chin out. Don't have the chin tucked in, open up all the joints. 
squeeze, squeeze, halfway, squeeze, 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 five seconds, keep the breathing, one, two, center and stop, excellent, side plank, remember we're going to change it through halfway, so, for the, well it gets all the core, but it's for the oblique part of the core specifically, the muscles on the side of your waist rather than in the front, the abdominus rect, not those ones, it will get those and it will get things inside, but mainly the ones on the side. Ready? Three, position of choice, whether you're coming up on the, just on the half position or whether you're in the full position. Three, two, one, time away up, open up if you want more, put the hand behind if you want more. There's various things you can do with your arms, but we'll just keep it simple today. Breathing, keep a nice straight line, lower abdominal. If you just touch your oblique, if you can, you'll find it's very, very under tension and really working. Switch sides, team. Position of choice. Straight line with the body, up with the hip. Open, if you get a chance after a few seconds, just tap that oblique muscle on the inside. You'll realize it's really working hard and it ties into your back as well. Up, I'm just guessing three, because I can't see the timer, two, one, and time. Oh, pretty good guess. You got a five second bonus actually. Right, the next one, glute bridge. <coughs> Very effective if you're looking to tone the bone muscles. But it's got more, more than that, but there's, there's a main, main area that it does work. Ready, three, two, one, team. Up, squeeze. Slowly down, little touch down and squeeze. If you want it a little bit harder, barely touch the floor and come straight back. When you're in this position, you'll feel your quads and leg muscles kick in as well. This is part of your core, you want to open these flexors here. When we sit down a lot, keep squeezing. This tend to shorten over time because my body adapts to what we do or what we don't do. So open these flexors out. One more team and we're gonna hold for a three. And a three, everything squeezing, glutes and abs, three, two, one, and time. Excellent, big breath, towel, drink if you need it. The cross mountain climber, take your position of choice. Remember, if you're in the box position, it can be a little awkward to cut across because it tightens this area. So move it slightly towards the same elbow, that's what I'd advise. The 45 is fine, and the long one is fine to cut, cut across. So it's left knee, to right arm, three, two, one, high position, press up, here we go, squeeze, remember, squeeze everything, squeeze, it's not about how many you do, it's holding the core, the central bit and the other support structures, holding it under tension, then increasing the tension but never letting it off completely, lower abdominal breathing, the pelvis is tucked under, the spine's in a straight line, squeeze, Put one more in and hold. Squeeze and hold. Holding, 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 and relax. Excellent work, team. It's the letter, if I do it from the front this time. I'll be face down. It'll make the Y shape to the W shape. Y shape to the W. Touch down in between each one if you start feeling the pressures too much in your lower back. It is part of your core, but it can be a toughie, this. Ready, everyone? I'm going to touch down, do the middle of the road one. So we're lying down. Three, two, one. Tuck the chin down towards your chest. Y, W, touch down. Y, W, touch down. Y, W, touch down. For those who did want that bit more, you'd be up. Y, W, Y. W, Y, W. But if you want to touch down, that's good. Y, W, down. One more team. Y, W, and down. Big breath. Drink if you need it. Nearly there, team. Good job if you're still here or you've done most of it. Get a drink. Use the towel. It's the plank row. I think this is quite a toughie. Avoid the rotational forces as best as possible. Ready. Three. Two, one, time away. Wider feet for more stability if you need it. Boom. Two, 
three. If you want to make it much harder, four. Narrow the feet. One, two, three, four. If you want a bit more stability or you start getting a bit tired, just widen. Head between the arms. One, nearly there. Two, three, four, five. Fit one more in. Six and hold. Hold. Breathe and hold and relax. There we have a team. We've been through six exercises twice. We're coming right up to time, so I just want to say I will check any comments later. Thanks for being here. Hope it was useful and helpful for you. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, leave a thumbs up or a comment. We're always happy to adapt or to, you know, see what the public want. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube at a later date, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on so you don't miss any new videos. And you can also check out links in the description below and you'll find links to our partners and our back catalogue of, of classes which involve all kinds of things, mental health, physical health, all different levels, dietary advice and so on, and well-being advice. There's a lot on there, so do have a look on YouTube. Tell your friends about us, invite them in. If you think the class would be suitable, there's, there's going to be something there for everyone. Um, what have we got? It's Thursday today, so we've got um, we've got Julie's, uh, I think, did she write Julie's family? Anyway, Julie is doing the quiz tomorrow, Julie's fun family quiz, I think it would be. Um, and just before that's at 12.30 and prior to that, 10 o'clock, which would, would be Noel's regular spot, I'm covering for Noel tomorrow circuit-based stay-at-home exercise. So that's 10 till 10.30, followed by our quiz master tomorrow, Julie, who's going to be from 12.30 till 1 o'clock. So I'll look forward to that. I'll moderate that, but I'll enjoy it as well. So do check our Facebook page every day for our timetable and our updates. Christmas is coming. I hate to say the word, but I've, I've said it now. Um, and I'm sure we'll be doing some stuff for, for, you, for you guys. So uh, I think I've covered just about everything, and I'm going over time I'll leave it on a few more seconds, then I've really got to go for the time factor. But thank you very much, everyone. See you all next session. Thank you. Hiya, Judith. Hiya, Steve. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Let me see if I can dare touch this, because it tends to not obey me. Oh, it's moving. Oh, Max, nice one. See you tomorrow, Max. Yes. Pleasure, Max. Thank you. Heather, of course. Nice one, Heather. I hope you got the, the phone number you needed, Heather. An active Newcastle. That'll be, I don't know if it's Jan or Heather doing it. So whoever it is, thank you very much, active Newcastle. There's Max again, there's Jan, and there's Judith. So it's it's the A team and the regulars. So usual, usual suspects. Thank you very much for today. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye now.